The previous video talked primarily about our mutual future, while this video message will talk about our mutual past, that which binds us together. While this video will discuss the Aryan people as an advanced people who were remnants of the antediluvian civilization, it does not support the agendas nor the madness spouted by the National Socialist Party and other such groups. No one human variation is superior to any other, and such hateful thinking as espoused by these types of groups is worthy of only the most primitive human minds. First of all, the term antediluvian refers to the time before the Great Deluge or the Great Flood, as talked about in the Bible, the Epic of Gilgamesh, and the ancient texts and oral traditions of cultures worldwide. While science hasn't officially recognized such a worldwide flood, it has acknowledged that we emerged from an ice age around 10,000 years ago. When a large portion of the world is covered in ice that suddenly melts, there are bound to be violent weather and near-global floods in the aftermath. Since so many diverse cultures recorded this deluge event, and since the Dronoshar mysteries regarding this event explain so much about early humanity of this age, it is more than likely that this event actually occurred. The civilization before the Flood was advanced scientifically to about the level equivalent to the mid-1900s United States. They had a very fledgling space program, but had not successfully sent a person into space as of yet. Because of their spiritual advancement nowhere near matched their technological advancement, the divine decided that humanity of this age needed to be reset. The first half of this age ended in fire and ice, with volcanic eruptions followed by an ice age. Some few people were spared from this disaster, and from the flood which was the inevitable aftermath of the ice age, as the Earth's currents once again reestablished. In a very few cases, entire cities were left standing until the flood itself. Most of those who were chosen to survive the flood were directed to the mountains near Turkey, while a few others were directed to the Himalayas. A few survivors recorded historically with names such as Utanapishtim, Atrahasis, Noah, and many others were directed by boat or other means to the mountains around Turkey during or after the flood. Many others already lived in that region and were instructed as to how to build structures in which they could weather the worst of the flood. Just prior to the flood, they buried their most sacred city carefully in the sand to protect it from the flood. This city was lost until recent archaeology has rediscovered it. It had to be stripped of all technology, which, could, which only would have been ruined and would have caused ruin to the structures, and because Creator would not allow antediluvian technology to survive. But the city remained as a cultural mon monument to the antediluvian people, and remains so today. Those people who were gathered in Turkey became known as the Aryans, and they were one of the few groups who had knowledge left from the antediluvian area. Initially, after the flood, they were allowed to live on islands in Salem, the city which would later be named Jerusalem, and in Egypt. They were not allowed to mix with the other people of the earth who had been newly created after the flood in a second creation. This was the astrological age of Gemini that saw the end of the flood, and which saw the twin civilizations of the Aryans and the Himalayan people who survived the flood. The antediluvian people of the Himalayas went by many names, all of which are lost to history, and they settled in Sumer, Tibet, India, and China. These are the people who brought the I Ching to China and the ancient pre-Aryan religion to India. These are also the people who established the first post-flood city in Sumer, developing the first writing system of this half of this great age. The Himalayan survivors mixed with the people of the new creation earlier than did the Aryans. It soon became apparent that the antediluvian people were going to mix with the people of the new creation, mainly because the new people were spreading so fast. As some of the antediluvian people tried to establish themselves as gods over the new people, the rebuilt antediluvian cities were destroyed and their technology was taken from them. 
only a few of the Aryans were allowed to survive. And the Himalayans who survived were exiled to live only in the mountainous region outside of Tibet and on the coast of India. The Sumer civilization, the Sumerian civilization, was absorbed by the Babylonians, while the Chinese culture was absorbed by the later Chinese people. Egypt was given over to various tribes, and Salem became the last stronghold of the Aryans in the land that eventually became known as Israel, with their only other refuges left in Turkey and North America. Eventually, even Salem was given over to the people of this half of this age, but the Aryans in that region had so blended with them that it was a natural transition rather than, than an official handing over of power. Finally, around 2000 BCE or so, the last Aryan culture which remained in Turkey was told to disperse amongst the people. They were sent to areas from as far south as India to as far north as Norway, and modern archaeology and linguistics confirms this. These are the people that modern archaeology recognizes as the Aryans. They spread the last of the knowledge they retained al along with their culture and their religious beliefs, becoming the foundation for every culture in Western civilization. In India, their beliefs blended with the antediluvian beliefs of the Himalayan people, and in Persia, they almost entirely usurped those beliefs with Zoroastrianism, named for the antediluvian Aryan prophet Zoroaster. The last of the Himalayan antediluvian people settled in a city that became known to the Tibetans as Shamala and to the Chinese as Shangri-La. Eventually, that city, too, was lost to be buried in the Himalayas forever, and the remnants of those people blended into the Tibetan people. The Americas are not completely left out of this story. There were flood survivors here as well. The antediluvian people of the Americas were restricted only to North America, where they lived with the Drenrashar of that time period. They eventually dispersed amongst the people who came by canoe from Asia. Their cultures influenced the Chacoan people, the Navajo people, the Lakota Oyate, the Mayans, and many others. The antediluvian Americans were of a connected culture to the Aryans and to the Himalayan antediluvian people. However, the Americas are really a topic worthy of its own discussion for another time.